members of the Redeemed Christian Church Evangelism Team, Trinity Sanctuary, Kaduna, have been kidnapped. Eyewitness accounts said they were kidnapped on Friday on their way for evangelism in the southern Kaduna houses. Huh. The Kaduna State Police Command spokesman Mohamed Jalige could not be reached for comment. A statement from an eyewitness driver made available to journalists read in part says eight members of the evangelism team of the redeemed christian church trinity sanctuary kaduna were kidnapped uh, this evening on their way to do evangelism in southern kaduna they were kidnapped after passing kacha he said my contact called to tell me about the kidnap he was told by an eyewitness a driver in his neighborhood who said that he narrowly escaped being kidnapped but that the rccg members boss must have been apprehended because they were following him to confirm the story shortly after my contact called me a sister who is a member of the middle belt prayer group informed me that members of our church the rccg were kidnapped this evening on their way to southern Cardona. so let us commit them to god in prayer for their release pray that god intervenes in his way hmm. Kidnapping, kidnapping, kidnapping. Uh -huh. Well, I wish we youth can rise and condemn all these acts of wickedness. May Allah see them safe and healthy back to their families. My prayer are with them and their families. God will grant you safe return. If not possible, may even grant you entry to his kingdom. The camp president in the north was abducted and executed. No one rescued him. I pray for your souls because or your is your case <laughs> well another another pastor too was was abducted in december too but thankfully thank god he was released so guys let us pr continue to pray really unfortunate god in his infinite mercy we ensure the their safe return may god bring them bring an end to this disaster because it's just too much that the geos are politicians to they should go and pay for their release. If person no be mumu, how can you see what is going on in your locality? And you see go for evangelism or worshipping in church. Okay. Hallelujah. Banditry and kidnapping will end in no distant time. Because kidnapped, uh, kidnapping of evangelists. Evangelist is a vanguard perspective to the God's me, uh, mercy upon the ravaged and traumatized people of this nation why are they trying god you people knew that region is not safe for you for religion gathering even your so-called father in the law cannot dare to go there foolishness of the highest order may god rescue you the kidnappers have shot themselves on the foods evangelists are under god insurance cover god vows to be with them always even to the end of the world mm. father arrest the evil doers in our nation nigeria in the name of jesus very unfortunate and sad the north has become a nightmare and horrific no wonder reports say we are going to face hunger since people would be scared to go to their farms the daily payments of ransom has also crippled relatives of kidnapped victims Okay, it's daily thing, and we are all much aware the the kidnapped our leaders children before lasting solutions will come. Hmm. Okay, is that what this person is trying to say? The issue now is that say if we if uh, we are in war, Nigeria government should come out plainly and tell the people we can't handle this situation. Why are people dying and hardship increasing, and you are comfortable calling yourself a, a leaders? You know that uh, the old, the all these ones uh, that are happening now is not causing war. Mm -mm, it is not war. But once you just talk about a uh, separation, breakup, oh my goodness, they will say, hey, oh, they want to start to, oh, they want to, call, hey, war, war, war. That is what you hear from them. <laughs> that is what you hear from them. But all these ones, uh, they are just uh, romancing them. They are just playing with them. It is no war. If all these things are happening, what do we call it? It, it, is, a, it is a settled state, not a failed state. It is one of the occupation hazard. It is not a new thing. Apostles suffer it, and that is the only way gospel can 
be spread to the camp of the enemies who send them there this is clearly stupidity and foolishness on their part knowing fully well the security risk involved in such venture in a dangerous environment most especially when they know that uh, once a mode inform these bandits about their movement they are a good prey for the kidnappers i hope uh, and pray that they are safely returned to their various homes and families unimpended and unharmed unimpaired okay did those evangelists get clearance from um, uh, ahmed gumi gabashew before embarking on such as task we are in for a real trouble in this country only jehovah shalom we pray thee all is well redeemers who clamors it's time for them them to reign by voting buhari because of their wayward pastor called oshiba juho hey hey this one has you now realize it is a great threat to national security no 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 this is a kidnapping is not a, a threat to national security it's bringing unity it's bringing unity all glory to god for their anticipated release thank you father disintegration nigeria now or disintegrate nigeria now i wonder if we still have existing government in this country someone that gave ultimatum of two weeks to, to swept these people off and we see battling with them ha huh? if he can declare himself that he need help then we the youth we are going to organize ourselves for this do you want to confront the the bandits or the so-called kidnappers that the government is trying to pamper that they said they should pay them and put them on payroll if the government is ready they don't even need anybody if they are ready for as it is now mm -mm. they are not ready why would they travel when the country is not safe for any our movements i pray to almighty allah to guide and protect them mm. that is what we are hearing by the time we hear from them again we are going to be hearing the right thing because a lot of people are saying why would you have embarked on such journey when you know how volatile that environment and that place is but they're going to tell you that hey, no that is not the situation but as it is now these people have been kidnapped it is time to preach to them god is giving them the opportunity to hear the gospel brothers be strong and preach in their camp nonsense country how we go take rescue them now please so why making efforts to rescue them let's also remember the young innocent poor leah leah sharibu who is abused being abused by the Boko Haram and betrayed by khan and other christian organizations the 39 students that they arrested now is more than two weeks now we are still there in the same kaduna day they are still there nothing is being done had he been maybe Eru fire as, uh, as he said if he had agreed to pay them now maybe they would have released them and that is what people are talking about the government is always coming out to tell us that they have rescued this they have rescued that and without going for those who did that without punishment for those who have done that does that really make sense but does that really make sense that is the question i'm really asking let's hear your opinion guys and let's know your thoughts on this thank you